Winter illnesses are on the rise in Maine, and certain viruses are becoming bigger problems. As New Center Maine's Alex Haskell explains, testing wastewater is proving useful in tracking the uptick. You see COVID is on an uptick as is RSV. Michelle Clements with the Portland Water District is looking at wastewater scan. Based at Stanford University, it monitors infectious diseases across the country, including Maine, through wastewater testing and shares the findings on this dashboard. We were so happy to participate and collaborate because it really wasn't a lot of uh, extra effort on our part. Portland Water District first joined the program during the COVID-19 pandemic as testing wastewater proved an effective way to track the disease. To this day, the Water District collects samples of wastewater every week. We collect three samples and uh, ship them off to Wastewater Scan for them to um, analyze. Recent results show a troubling trend across Maine in Portland, Lewiston and Bangor. Data indicates the prevalence of COVID, RSV, norovirus and influenza are high in these three cities. And we know that it tracks pretty well. Dr. Mark Abel is the hospital epidemiologist at Northern Light Eastern Maine Medical Center and says wastewater testing is a very useful tool. He credits the uptick in illnesses in Maine to people spending more time indoors over the holidays. It comes as the Maine Center for Disease Control and Prevention reported 480 new flu cases last week, up more than 40 percent from the previous week. Make sure to wash your hands often. Um, maybe think about, you know, wearing a mask in a high, uh, in a crowded place where you might be at high risk. Some of the best measures Dr. Abel says we can all take to help stay healthy, including staying up to date on vaccines. So far, Abel says what Maine is seeing is typical, but the next few weeks may tell us if we're in for a tough sick season. In Portland, Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine. Staff with the Portland Water District say wastewater scan is funded through philanthropy, so ratepayers are not funding the testing.